Hey, how's it going? My name is Brandon Drake, functional nutrition coach and therapeutic chef at heartfulfoods.com where food is medicine. So today, I actually wanted to quickly talk about how to cook rice. So a lot of people uh, are guilty of making sure that they get the right ratios of rice, you know, in terms of the, the amount of liquid compared to the amount of rice that you're cooking. And honestly, I used to be very guilty of that and used to be have to be very specific in terms of uh, how much rice uh, and how much water to be cooking with depending on the type of rice and I really got tired of that and essentially I found out a way of how to cook your rice without ever having to measure the amount of rice and the amount of water to make sure you get the exact ratios correctly because if you didn't your rice wouldn't come out right the consistency would be goopy or it'd be too dry so this is the surefire way to cook your rice without even having to measure anything the rice or the water so the thing is, the one key thing is you have to soak your rice for at least two hours or overnight. Um, there's benefits in that. One is, no matter what, uh, you'll be able to cook your rice with great consistency all the time. It'll come out uh, nice and fluffy no matter what when you soak your rice. Also, the other benefit is actually a health benefit. When you soak your rice, you're actually removing the phytic acid from that rice or from the grain. Essentially, phytic acid is responsible for binding to the minerals. And when it binds to the minerals in the rice, you're not able to absorb those minerals. So you're not maximizing the nutrients from the food that you're eating. In this case, uh, the rice that you're eating. So it is great to actually soak your rice because the phytic acid will be removed. Therefore, you'll be able to maximize the nutrients that you're getting out of the rice that you're consuming. So essentially, after soaking your rice for two hours or overnight, you essentially will then drain it with a strainer and then you'll bring water or veggie broth to a boil. And it doesn't matter how much water, as long as you have more than two to three times much, as much water as the amount of rice that you're cooking. And you could have 10, 20 times, it doesn't matter. Uh, so essentially you bring that rice or that veggie broth to a boil. And when it starts boiling, that's when you throw in your rice. And then after it starts boiling for like 10, 15 seconds, when the rice is within the water, then you'll just turn it down to a simmer and you'll cook it anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes. Essentially during that 20 to 25 minute range, you're essentially just tasting the rice and you don't even have to cover it. You're basically simmering the rice uncovered and after 20 to 25 minutes, you're gonna taste it and you're gonna see if it's uh, to your consistency. If, it, if you like it to your consistency, some people like it really soft, some people like it a little bit firm. With me, I kind of like it just in the middle, but it's up to you. So when you're done within that 20 to 25 minute range of cooking your rice and it's to your preference in terms of the consistency, then you just drain the water out and you basically separate the rice from the water, obviously, and you empty out the pot and then you put the water i mean you put the grain or the rice back into the pot and then you cover the pot and let it lightly uh, steam for like 10 minutes open up the pot taste it and it'll be perfect no matter what it'll always be perfect so as long as you drain i mean as long as you soak your rice anywhere between two hours to overnight you're going to get perfect rice and you know what when you're actually boiling the rice you could or simmering the rice you could actually throw up a whole bunch of seasoning in it uh, it doesn't matter what you put in it, salt, pepper, basil, parsley, whatever. Or you could actually season it when you're steaming it, when the when it's closed up. So you could season it in any during any process, it doesn't matter. But the key thing is that you'll always get consistently tasty and uh, fluffy rice as long as you soak it. And that is my tip for the day. And it's something that I do all the time for my clients and they never complain about my rice. They like that it's fluffy, and no matter what, it'll always be consistent. So to review, you basically just bring the water to a boil, doesn't matter how much water it is, as long as at least three four, or four more times than the amount of grains that you're, you're cooking, and then basically make sure that you soak it overnight. Like I said, you bring the water to a boil. After it brings to a boil, you throw your rice in there, bring it down to a simmer, cook it between 20 to 25 minutes, and you just taste it to your liking once it's good you're done and ready to go you strain the rice put it back into the pot put the uh put the uh the cover on the pot let it steam for like 10 minutes and then you're good to go and that is it so if you have any questions please go to heartfulfoods.com and fill out my contact form and i'll be happy to get back to you and if you want to know more and get even more bonus material 
you could actually get a free uh, recipe ebook called Healthy Delicious Energy Boosting Recipes if you attend my free uh, health webinar. And that webinar and the topic along with what I'm talking about will be at heartfulfoods.com and it'll be at the very top of my page with the subject and all the details that go along with it. So again, I hope you cook your rice pretty amazingly and it comes out nice and fluffy. And I guarantee if you follow these directions, it will come out nice and fluffy. All right, you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Brandon Drake, functional nutrition coach and therapeutic chef at heartforfoods.com where food is medicine. Peace.